Hi, my name's Juliette Burton and I am doing a photo shoot today, a very exciting photo shoot, a stop motion photo shoot. You'll see the results later. We're trying to show the very vast difference between photoshopped images in magazines uh, and have a bit of a story behind it where we, we show the fantasy versus the reality of those sorts of things. And that sort of stuff usually uses a lot of power, doesn't it? It uses a lot of power. A photo, photo shoot uh, like this one, Can you, have you seen all of the technology around here? Um, we've seen all these amazing people that we've, we've, we've gathered together as well for this. Yeah, we have had a power cut and uh, there's not a lot that we can do about it. Uh, and we're flying out the country, me and Mr Cameraman behind there, Frankie, are flying out the country to go tour Australia for three months uh, in a few days and we have no other days that we can possibly do this on. So um, all hands on deck. What a great opportunity for a challenge. I'm trying to do a show at the Edinburgh Fringe called Look At Me, which is meant to be looking at whether um, who we appear to be is who we are and whether by changing our outsides we can affect who we are on the inside. Hi, Chris. Hi, uh, one sec, Chris. Um, hi, Chris, can you hear me? Um, we've got a whole team of people together with loads of equipment and there's just been a massive power cut. Anyway, uh, we can be fairly flexible. What have you got? Have you, have you got a few generators and how much do they give out? Yeah. That would be brilliant. I will, I will drive a truck if I have to, Chris. I really don't mind. Right. I'm getting in the car now. Okay, okay. see you soon. Uh, my trousers are upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's go. I'm very lucky to have a farming family. And I'm heading back to um, the farm now to borrow a couple of petrol generators from my brother-in-law and it's going to be a great experience if we get it done if we, if we get this done this is going to be a triumph the first photographer who's involved is a guy called alex beckett alex Hello. is an incredible photographer uh, alex do you want to introduce yourself and tell people what you do and how long you've done it for or? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a photographer. Um, I do a mix of commercial photography and weddings. I also ask you why you wanted to do this, actually. This... Why do I want to do this? Uh, I just find it really interesting. So one thing I've noticed in my work for a long time is that a lot of girls who don't necessarily look as stunning as other girls just know how to stand and how to look really, really great. And other yeah. girls that think they look rubbish in photos, actually it's just the fact that they, they actually have better assets than some of the other girls that, that think of themselves as amazing and just need to know how to stand properly and how to actually be photographed. So it's about right, so. knowing the tricks and knowing that you're confident and gorgeous no matter what. Like you. Oh, thank you. I love him. He's passionate about the project. He's passionate about what we're trying to explore and um, to show how um, a photo, no, no photo that you ever see is ever really real, not in the fashion industry, certainly not. They're, they're not only aspirational photos, they're, they're, they're impossible photos, they're not real. And this here is the most amazing Helena, uh, who is also an amazing photographer. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, hi, I'm Helena and I'm also a friend of Juliet and I'm a photographer and I'm providing the space. Yes, this is your amazing and studio. Soup. <laughs> and soup. And soup, which is very yeah. important because it's very cold. Yeah. When I was younger I was very unwell with um, a variety of eating disorders and mental health problems. I still I still struggle with a lot of them. Uh, when I was a very small child, I was very overweight, um, from about the age of seven, when my anxiety disorder started kicking in. When I was a teenager, I became very, very anorexic and uh, got sectioned for anorexia um, and went in and out of hospitals. To add drama to it, the motorbike going by. Over here we have the rest of the team. Uh, we have the amazing uh, makeup crew here, hair and makeup. And hi, could you introduce yourselves, girls, please, to the lovely camera people? Hi, I'm Holly. I'm a makeup artist from Cambridge. Hi, I'm Tiffin. Um, hair and makeup. And the fact that I'm talking to you with no makeup on is a bit of a brave leap. But uh, if I believe that everyone else is beautiful, whether they wear makeup or not, then who am I to contradict that? Why did you want to do today? It's a really important project and I really, really respect where it's coming from and you're really fun to work with. Definitely. Aww, that's so sweet. Thank you. I used to spend a lot of time comparing myself when I was younger to uh, fashion magazines and images in adverts and on billboards and I still, you know, we're still bombarded by them now. And one of the biggest things that I struggle with at the moment is uh, my body dysmorphic disorder, so body dysmorphia. For example, I might... Um, be standing on stage performing, the stress will mean that my little eating disorder minx on my shoulder will sit there and will be whispering in my ear telling me, 
god, you're so fat. Do you know how fat you are? Your legs are inflating. Uh, finally, we've got the amazing uh, Frankie Lowe here. Hello, I'm a uh, musician, composer, sound engineer, music producer, cameraman, live sound tech, lighting operative, and dream weaver. <laughs> and, uh, Why did you want to get involved with this? Uh, yeah, really interesting project. We've uh, been doing a lot of research recently about the beauty industry and the fashion industry and um, yeah it's kind of really interesting seeing behind the scenes and kind of deconstructing that process. That sort of perfection is completely unreal and we're on a hamster wheel of trying to achieve it and wasting energy when actually we could be celebrating how perfectly and perfect we all are. You know for, for, for better or for worse the fashion industry is a very kind of artificial kind of world so it's interesting seeing how it's all put together. So today I woke up and that uh, today was the day when I was really struggling with the fact that I really really felt bloated and bigger than I know I, I know I ought to be I intellectually know I, I ought to, I know that I cannot be that size because my, my clothes still go on but that little voice on my shoulder is telling me how disgusting I am today. Quite bad. Yeah, so we need to leave it outside. Yeah. Okay. It can help. Yeah. Okay. Keep it far away from the right. So, what do we need to power? We need to power that light there. We've tested it, it works, thank God. Um, so no such thing as a power cut will get in our way of getting this done today. And right now I'm trying to practice my, my stance to look as naturally sexy as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, all the stress is make, meaning that I'm genuinely feeling like my body's inflating as we're doing this, but that's fine because it's all in my head. It is. It's just got like, <laughs> really weird. Okay, that's fair. Uh... We've overcome all kinds of obstacles today and we've managed to get our photo shoot for a look at me, the show that's going to be at Edinburgh Fringe, uh, all sorted. Um, massive, amazing team. Um, we want a big round of applause to the team.